All right, cool. So now that we've set up everything, I'm going ahead and, and create this mask so that our wood texture can correctly go around here without much worry. Uh, and now let's look at this, this gold fill layer that we originally created. I do have these uh, post effects active. Well, it's not active now, but I will activate them because uh, you want to make sure that when you are doing renders, that they're actually in an environment and color that you're going to expect. So I know that there's going to be some tonal mapping. It's not going to be as bright. I do know that we're going to have anti-aliasing. Um, depth of field doesn't, for some reason, we get this weird blotchiness. So I'm probably going to report that and see if that's either a bug or something to do with my HDR map. Um, but we could add glare so you can see just a little bit, you know, just how this is going to work. I will have these once again in the end product. So it's good to have, uh, you know, just an idea of what this is going to look like. And I'm going to use the same HDR in Marmoset um, tool bag as well as, as Unity so that we'll always have the same exact mapping. So first thing we want to do is, is we want to come to our fill layer, rename it to gold. And the first thing we want to do is, is look at some of the settings. Uh, what I have here is the original image. So this is what it looks like, and this is where we're at. So you can see that we have quite a few things we need to do. We need to, do. We need to add a little bit of yellow into here. We need to dirty this up. We need to add this black and gold stripe. Uh, this is extremely dull compared to what we have right now. So that's the first thing we want to do is we want to make this just a little duller. So first, this at the end of the day is a substance material and substance is great for procedural generated content. So I'm just going to zoom in a little bit and start looking at some things that will help us with our overall look. First and foremost, light bounces off of of smooth objects so much better than those that aren't. So you can see by removing um, the roughness, we automatically get this, uh, you know, this extra shiny look. So we can just add just a little bit of roughness to bring down the overall shine of this, uh, of, or the overall reflection of the actual light. Something else I like to do is, is add some noise. Adding some random noises um, noise adds just some an extra bit of realism to whatever piece you're working on. If you ever see somebody, uh, you know, working on something and it's CG related, you often can tell because it's so perfect. You end up, it's everything is in HD. You know, if you if you remember, um, if you looked at some of the older videos, some of the VHSs, you'll see that there's that graininess to it, and a lot of the new movies and uh, and TV shows are actually starting to add some of that grain back because We've gotten to a point where it's, everything is just so CG that it's hard to really enjoy something uh, because it's all too perfect. I'm also going to add some dirt in here. With some of these settings, you can just keep playing with them to see, you know, what results you get. And all it does is, is it, all it really, you know, just adds just a little bit of wear and tear. We don't need a ton of wear and tear on there if we remember what our original looked like. Uh, you can change the scale of the dirt so that... Uh, you can actually see it just a little better. Let's see. Cool. And surface imperfections. You know, once again, it doesn't need to be extreme, but just having just a little bit of that will will just add a little bit to the realism. Now we can see what this rust will look like. Okay, so that's what. Yeah, we don't really want this thing rusted. So we can bring that down. Now this just takes care of how deep some of these scratches and imperfections come out. So one of one of the most important portions for us is really this roughness. Now the other thing is is our color, which is it's really hard to tell when you're using PBR, but you can just eye it and bring this down just a little bit. Maybe a little more in that direction. Cool. Let's go back. All right, so we'll, we'll leave this for now as is, and then we're going to come back again, and we're going to work on the actual wood section.